right, Hiram here. I got another stove, an interesting looking stove from eBay. Uh, came all the way from, I don't know, can you see that? Bulgaria. I saw it and I thought it looked pretty darn interesting, so finally bought one. Wow. Tough package. So I thought what I'd do today is do an unboxing. Holy cow, taped up. Let's see if I can open this. Uh, this is the problem with unboxing. You never know what's inside. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the ad down below. I've seen this on eBay for a long time. They must have quite a selection of them. Wow, it's bigger than what I thought. I'll do a measurement of this sizes and everything and I'll put it all down below. It's supposed to be a vintage 1970s spirit alcohol backpacking stove. Fairly heavy. Comes with a pot stand. <coughs> this is the pot stand part. And this is the stove part. I'm not sure which is the top. Let's say this side. That's the burner part. I'm not sure what this is made of. It doesn't look like asbestos, but it looks like some sort of pressed fiber. Along with the lid, a little bent there. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be fuel tight or not. Maybe. It looks like a rubberized gasket on the top. It's supposed to go like this from what I saw of the pictures like that and then the pot stand goes on the top and this center part is for the alcohol I guess these are the instructions on how to use it oops <laughs> I don't think it's going to do me much good I don't know if you can see this must be in Bulgarian or I'm sorry whatever the language is of Bulgaria Wow, Not, these aren't going to be much help. But it kind of looks like it's pretty much self-explanatory. Put your alcohol in here and then go to town. So let me do my measurements. I'll get some alcohol in here, figure out how much can be put in there. I would say that should be able to hold at least two ounces, if not more. But uh, we'll see what happens. So let me, like I said, let me get this stuff measured. Get some water prep, get some alcohol in here and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. I've got one fluid ounce of methanol in the stove. Let me light this. Okay, that's pretty nice. Again, two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, here we are on two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Not exactly a fast burner nice flame. Oh, one thing I did forget, uh, I gotta measure the diameter of this opening, but the distance between the bottom of the pot to the top of the stove is again that one inch sweet spot. Uh, it's just a little bit above one inch here. I'll give the dimensions down below again. Uh, some of the things, again I'll give you the diameter, the spread of these legs on the pot stand so a lot of these small pots won't fit on here because it is kind of wide. The everything that it's made out of is steel it looks like. Magnet sticks to everything. The pot stand, the bottom, the top, the whole bit. Now on this one I didn't use the top that's sitting over here because I'm not sure about this rubber insert. It didn't seem to come out real easy so I just have the stove setting on the countertop there's one fluid ounce of methanol in here it really just kinda soaked that right up so I'm not sure how long this will last but uh, let's just see how long this does go until boiling there we have 210 211 come on Come on. 
to 12 in 12 minutes, 12 seconds. Cool. Okay, let's see how long this takes for run out. Shouldn't be long now. Okay, even though there's a flame going on there, I should call it because the temperature is dropped now. So let's call this at run out at 1712. That gives me a nice even number. Uh, you can see it's still burning just a little bit there. Now the one thing, the stove started leaking along the side here. The round part of this pot stand doesn't really seal it off. So we were getting flames along the outer edge. So this is kind of like in a simmer mode now. It stayed, it dropped down to 211 and it's been staying there. It was at 213. Okay, there it's down to 10. So I'm still going to call it at 1712, although it's still running. Okay, not bad. I was a little concerned there for a little bit that it wouldn't get it to boiling, but it did. Now the one thing with this, <coughs> excuse me, is that this had never been used before so it always seems like when you use a stove for the first time it's a little iffy as to what kind of timing it's going to get there wasn't any residual alcohol or anything in this so that one ounce you know was that one ounce let me just blow that out okay now the one thing when I took the measurements of this I didn't measure what this opening is I'll do that and I'll put it down below. That's warm. I'll put it down below for the size and I'll probably also put it along the bottom of the screen. And you can see that it did burn a ring in that whatever that material is. It kind of looks like some sort of, uh, I don't know, it looks like some stuffing from something but kind of cottony. But I have no idea. Unfortunately I can't read the instructions it probably tells you there. So well, that's cool. I may have forgotten to mention room temperature is 52 degrees, humidity 44. It's cloudy but still outside. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, got to a boil in 12 minutes 12 seconds and it ran until 1712 so a good five minutes there after boiling. Not bad. What I'll have to do is put some more alcohol in here, seal it up, and see if this is alcohol tight. That would be pretty cool if you could do that. Carry your alcohol in this, because it looks like it would hold a fair amount of alcohol. So that's my new collector piece, a vintage 1970s spirit alcohol backpacking stove from eBay. I'll leave the link down below so you can see it. For, it's not a gram weenie item, that's for sure. The weight on this is 7.39 ounces or 209.6 grams. So not a gram weenie item, but I suspect back in the day, uh, back in the 70s, they would have just had alcohol in this and put in their pocket and went out. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.